Hey everyone, my bad about the audio, I plugged in the wrong mic, it won't happen again. Hey what's up everybody, it's Daydreams, welcome back to the channel for another video here in Clash of Kings. So guys, I took a long layoff for the holiday, and I got a little bit sick. I'm starting to feel better, and I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing Clash of Kings videos 3 days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, it should be like the old times again, I got the near P6 castle here, 105 million power good science so i'll be able to actually attack people and make good content again i've been really down for the last i don't know six months and i think now that uh you know i got a castle where i can actually do something it'll it'll be make video making a lot easier so i got good news for you guys one of the biggest gripes i've had is that there are no events in the game now dc is gone world cup is gone everything has been gone but i want to let you guys know that this month dragon campaign is going to be returning and I believe it'll be back around the 20th, so, yeah, 11 days, so not this Friday coming up, but the one after, you'll get your Dragon Campaign back, and so will I, so, that is good news. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the updates, which has some DC optimization in it, so, Dragon Campaign optimization. The Night Hall won't automatically send out Dark Knight after being occupied anymore. Some soldiers will appear in the Night Hall periodically, you can acquire points by killing the garrison soldiers, so, this is something I said they should do a long, long time ago. All the Night Hall did was lag out the game. So, it's great that they're finally listening. Added building battle record. Click the building icon on the small scale map to view the battle record. Okay, so there's adding a little tab where you can view your battle record. Added DC battle record, Dragon Campaign. You can view the main battles by using this function. Okay, so I'm guessing it's just going to be a little tab where you can click it more quickly. That's going to be really great because right now you have to go into your mail and then click it. If there was a tab already, you know, we've got all these tabs that are kind of in the way. If you catch my drift, they could just put it right there. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the next one. Optimize the appearance of the map and the building. In the Dragon Campaign, it appears that they are going to make it look nicer. This makes me very happy to see you guys. I'm just reading all this fresh right now. I haven't read it before. And to hear that the time that the Dragon Campaign has been down for the last couple months, at least they've been working on it and optimizing all these things. So this is all just in the Dragon Campaign. Next up, Mineral Vein, you will be matched according to your Kingdom opening time and your Kingdom power. So, I believe before it just did it by power. Now you have two factors. Kingdom opening time and your Kingdom power. By Kingdom opening time, right now I'm in 1265. I'll be probably within Kingdoms within a 500 range of me, you know what I mean? Like, you could get matched with other people. But it looks like there's two factors instead of one matching people up, which is going to be a lot better. Because even if two kingdoms have the same amount of power, Kingdom 1 and Kingdom 2000 are, what, three and a half years apart? That's not really fair. You can save up a lot of stuff for free in three and a half years. So guys, thank you so much. I'm really happy to be back to do this video. Like I said, I'm feeling a lot better doing videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, I'll see you guys then. Team Rick Humor, smash the thumbs up button. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. And see you guys all at the Dragon Camp.